Uh, this is Ian McGill coming at you today with some information there concerning someone that I read about who hung himself on a tree and the tree limb broke and he fell down into a gorge and died and hit the rocks so hard that his body broke in the middle and all his intestines busted out. And why did that happen? That happened because of money, because of 30 pieces of silver. Hey, I'm going to come at you to here in a little bit with the 10th installment for this video series on the 2300 scriptures on money. I'll be right back. There was a man in the Bible, his name was Judas, and he was one of uh, Jesus' disciples. Um, if you don't know who Jesus is in the Christian Bible, Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the Messiah. And uh, Jesus, he had some followers and people that learned from him as a great teacher um, to actually carry on the message and the word to the world that was there. And one of them, his name was Judas. Uh, he was one of Jesus' disciples. And the scripture talks about him and finding out that his moral compass was off when it concerned money. Now, you may not be the kind of person there who, you know, wants to have, who cares where your money goes, especially for investments, for building a business, uh, for your family, for your future. Uh, but there's people that are, you know, they are, they want to have the money to be placed on things that they are sure about. It's actually going to make them have more and to do more and to be more, like in business I'm in. Well, Judas, you know, he really didn't care about that. His moral compass was off, and he had betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Now, that's not a whole lot of money, but it's not a little bit of money either. It doesn't really matter because him, his focus was on getting paid immorally and betraying Jesus concerning that. Now, I'm going to read it to you, just a little bit of it, so you can get an idea. In the book of Matthew, Chapter 27, verse 3, one account it talks about it, and it says, When Judas, his betrayer, Jesus' betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, in other words, he saw that he was actually getting condemned, and he was getting hurt, and now everything's going to come to pass that he was afraid of. When he saw that, Judas was afflicted in mind and troubled for his former folly, and with remorse, with little more than a selfish dread of the consequences, he brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They replied, what is that to us? See that, see to it yourself. In other words, they didn't even care that he put the money there. It went on to say in verse 5, And casting the pieces of silver forward into the holy place of the sanctuary at the temple, he departed, and he went off and hanged himself. It went on to say in another account in the scriptures, in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 18. It says here, Now this man, Judas, obtained a piece of land with the money paid him as a reward for his treachery and wickedness. And falling headlong, he burst open in the middle of his body, and all his intestines poured forth or poured out. So his mind was on the money. His mind was on just getting paid. You know, in the business that I'm in right now, it's all about value. And there are eight millionaires that's come out of this business in the last two years. Because of what? Because of value. Eight millionaires have come forth out of this business because they wanted to give value to their fellow man. And wanted to build people up, to have more and to do more and to be more. Now, you may not be the kind of person that you want to have more, you want to do more, you want to be more for you and for your family, for your future. But what's awesome about that is that there's a lot of people that are. A lot of people, they, they do want to have more and they want to do more and they want to be more. A lot of people, they do want to put their money into some things with the moral compass there that's actually going to bless them and their family and their friends around. So they can actually have more and do more and to be more. All right, in this business that I'm in right now, that's what we do. That's why there's development. That's why there's actually social proof 
going on and what's happening here in this business. All right, so for you out there, if you're looking for something that you want to have or put your money into something that's going to have a moral compass behind that, that really is going to 100% help you in your mind. Like Judas, he was troubled in his mind and he was afflicted in his mind. Because if you don't put your money in the right place, if you don't get the right education, like what we have here, the best education on the internet, you might end up being troubled about what you did. What did you do with your money? How come things aren't working out like you're supposed to be working out? For this business that I'm in right now, that's what we do. We answer all these questions for you so you can come up and you can have more and you can do more and you can be more. All right. Hope that blessed you and motivated you today with the 23 scriptures on money, part 10. Um, it says a lot about that. Uh, if you want to hear more about this business that I'm in, just go ahead and click the link on this page. Watch our free video concerning that so you can have more, you can do more, you can be more. And you can have a moral compass. You can work personally with me concerning that for you and for your business. Whatever you're doing at this point, it can certainly work out for you. Go ahead and click the link on this page. When you go forth on the next page, just go ahead and put in your email address to get more information about that concerning it. And uh, you'll have more information in your email that will be sent to you directly. So watch the free video. Click the link on this page. And I'll see you on the inside.